All right, so in this video, we are going to look at uh, using Ionos to host a couple uh, different databases. And we are going to get a new database created, add some tables to that database, and then connect to that database with uh, our website that is also Ionos hosted using PHP. So we are going to pop on out to Ionos.com and get signed in. And before we are going to do the database stuff, I am going to just set up real quickly some web space we can work in. So that uh, means creating a new subdomain. Also creating a folder where our, fold, where our files will go and then mapping that subdomain to that folder. So the homepage of that subdomain will be the root of that folder. I'm just going to call this DB for database. So this subdomain will take a couple of minutes to get created. While it does that, we're going to bounce back over here using web space and databases. Then we're going to create a new folder on our web space called DB. We are going to put it in the root. We'll just call it DB for database again. And the last step to map those is to go into the subdomain and connect it to our web space, and then it will... Uh, be the root of our domain name. So visiting db.10minutewebdev.com would then show you any files that are on that host. The subdomain will take a minute or two to register. So I'm going to have six when it's ready. So with, with this not being ready yet, what I'm going to do now is bounce back to my menu here. And you can see here hosting using web space and databases. We're going to click into that. So what we're going to do is create a new database that we can work in. And we can then create a database table. And hopefully by the time that's done, our uh, domain name will be ready to be worked with. And then we will uh, show how to connect to this database we're going to create right now. So we can create a new database. We have two options here. This one you got to pay for. This is going to cover most of your projects. If you do have a lot of traffic or a lot of file size needed, you may need this performance database. It's like $3 a month. This one is free, and they let you have up to 5000 so we're going to go for free. MySQL 8 is what we're going to choose. I'm just going to call this DB. And then the password, we need it to be... And so the password... Uh, I'm just going to choose that. We're going to hit save. And this will take a process. So it says a database is being set up. This should be set up pretty quickly. And once it is, you'll see we're going to go down here and very easily see how to connect to this database and how to edit this database using phpMyAdmin, which is a web-based database management tool. That would let you create tables, run queries, insert data, things like that. So while this is setting up, I'm going to bounce back over to our subdomain and see if that is ready. All right, now it looks like our uh, subdomain here, db.10minutewebdev.com, is ready for us to use. We can click into it. You can see the uh, destination is web space. We can hit adjust destination, connect to web space. And here we will just map it to an existing folder. We're going to choose the DB folder. We're going to click save. So now if you go to db.10minutewebdev.com, it should show you the files that are in the root of that folder. So I did already set up FTP to this, so I'm not going to go through setting that up. Uh, but I'm going to bounce over to VS Code here, and we're going to create a new workspace. So we're going to add a folder to the workspace. We're going to call it, once again, the same as db.10minutewebdev.com. And that will be an empty folder. You can see nothing in it yet. 
I am going to also copy this existing folder, which contains a config file for our uh, FTP access. So I'm going to edit this with my username, password, things like that, and then we're going to push a file to that web space, see that it's there, then we are going to go in and get our database info and connect to it. So with our FTP access in place, I'm just going to right click, create a new file, we're going to call it index.php. And we may as well bounce out and get a good starter template to work with. I always bounce out to bootstrap using the quick start. Copy this guy. So we will call this database example. Database example. So for this uh, 10 minute video, uh, video one here of this series, there will probably be three videos. This one, all we're really going to do is get our database connection information in here, uh, maybe quickly create a sample database, query the database, and then just dump the data just to see that we did connect and we're able to communicate uh, with our database. So let's just write in pseudocode what we're going to do here connect to database, query database echo results via var dump. So var dump is just a PHP thing. It's going to take our returned array from the database and just dump it in ugly plain text, but that will at least tell us we are connecting to the database. So the first thing we're going to do here is bounce back over to Ionos, and we're going to go look to see if our database is ready. Hit manage. And we called it DB in the comments. So if we go into this, we are going to see the options to connect to the database. So here there's different options MySQLi, MySQL extension, PDO, and then WordPress. PDO means PHP, PHP data objects. This is what I use for pretty much everything. A very simple connection script that they give you. The only thing you have to do is input the password you chose earlier. So we're going to choose that. We are going to, I'm just going to paste it into this page just to make it easy. Usually we would put it in an include or something like that. But for this case, I am just going to put it right on this page. So we're going to try, and if it succeeds, we're going to echo out connected. If it fails, it's going to give us this error message. So right now it would fail due to invalid password. The rest of this should be right. So let's upload it. And again, we're not expecting it to succeed here. So our database example and then error SQL state access denied. So we had an invalid username or password. So let's simply go back here now and replace this bad password with our good password. All right, so I just pasted in our correct password. We're going to save it. Don't worry, I'll change this password before you can try to break in. And if we go back to this, I had already tested it, but you'll see now we see connected. So it is actually attempting to connect to our database and succeeding. So if we change the password and now we're back to an invalid password, we should see it break. So we will put that back. And that is how you connect to a database on Ionos. And we did this all from scratch. The site set up, wrote the connection string or copied it and then connected to the database. So this was the first video of probably three or four. We're going to continue on this uh, and keep working with databases. We're going to create a database, probably a music catalog. We'll get into that in the next video, but check out the next video and you will see how to create a database. Uh, build some tables, populate the database, create some foreign keys, primary keys, 
and then work with it all within this page uh, using PHP.